In Windows 11, there's some new clipboard options. They were available in Windows 10, but it worked in a different way. So I think you'll really like these new options that we have here. I'm going to double click on a test document that I have. And we can see test one, two, and three. I'm going to click on the start menu, open up settings, and turn on the clipboard features that will allow me to have multiple saved copy and paste items. So I'll click on clipboard here in settings, and I'll turn on clipboard history. Now, if you have any history that you want to get rid of first, you can click on clear, but we'll take a look at that later. I'm going to minimize that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text. I'm going to right click on it and I'll choose copy. And I'm going to go down a couple of lines and paste it in. Now, if I hold down my Windows and V key at the same time, we can see there's my test one copy in the clipboard. Fantastic. Now I'm going to do it with test two and test three, and you can watch what happens. So I'll do paste and paste. Now I'll choose my Windows V once again. And now we see test three, test two, and test one. So if I want to use more than one clipboard, because typically the clipboard only saves one item, now I can save many more items. And I can go back to them if I need to, which can really save you a lot of time on a big document. So all I need to do to paste in test three once again is just click it, and it shows right up. Now I need to choose the Windows V again, and I'll show you some other options that are in there. So we have test one, two, and three. Let's say I don't need test three anymore. I'll click those three little dots and I can choose the delete option. So I'll click that and now test three is gone, but test two and test one are still there. I can also click those three dots and I can choose paste as text. Now the reason this is here is because if you have some fancy type of font and uh, say in Microsoft Word, but you just want it to show up as plain old text, then you can use this option. Otherwise, if you click it without that, then it'll show up as the original way you copied it, just as you see here. All right, so now let's take a look at another thing that we've got in here, and that's the option to pin. So if I pin like that, I've pinned that item. Then what's cool about that is, is I can close this and I can open it back up again. And of course it'll still be there, but it'll always be at the top of my list. So if I have five or six more things, then the thing I use the most, which is pinned, will still be there. The other interesting thing is if I click on clear all, which I can do from here, or I can do it from my settings, I can click on clear clipboard data. I'll close that once again and go back in to my control, my Windows V, I should say, and I'll go back in. And now we see test one is gone, but test two is still there. And that's because it's pinned. If I no longer want it to be there, the next time I click clear, then I'll want to unpin it just by selecting it again. And I click clear all and now it's gone. So those are the cool new clipboard options that you have in Windows 11.